Welcome back to Fight Back for Your Rights. Pankaj Agarwal is now on the phone line. Let's uh, find out what's bothering him. Pankaj, uh, what's the problem you've been facing? Sir, as I have, I have a HDFC credit card in 2005. Sir, I have a visa for you. I have a visa for you. I have a visa for you. और हमें इंटरेस्ट भी नहीं था लेकिन हमने तो इसमें कार्ड से हमने कुछ खरीदारी करी थी सर सन 2005 में 1915 रुपए की एक और इकतालीस रुपए की एक उसके बाद में सर ये हमारे पास है ना सर हमारे को तो इसका पता नहीं था क्या सिस्टम होता है क्या नहीं होता ये 300 400 300 400 रुपए की हर बार स्टेटमेंट भेज देते थे और हमारे से पैसे ले जाते थे फिर हमने है ना इनसे कहा भैया ये ऐसे मत करो हमारा जितना भी पैसा बनता है वो हमारे से ले लो इन्होंने है ना सर वो है ना कुछ भी नहीं बोला सर और ये है ना सुनवाई करते ही नहीं थे फिर लास्ट में हमने कहा जी हमें ऐसे पैसे नहीं देंगे आप बताओ क्या करना है तो हमारा इनका है ना जी सेटलमेंट हुआ जी बावन सौ इक्यानवे रूपए का हेलो तो इन्होंने बावन सौ इक्यानवे रूपए भी हमारे से ले लिए फिर मैं सूरत चला गया दो तीन साल तक फिर ये हमारे को और परेशान करते रहे जब मैं दिल्ली आया तो सन दो में पांच हजार इन्होंने हमसे कहा कि आप हमारे को दे दीजिए और हम आपसे कभी भी है ना पैसे नहीं मांगेंगे कभी भी लाइफ में मैंने कहा मैं ऐसे कैसे पांच हजार रूपए दे दू आप मेरे को कुछ लिखे में दो एनओसी दो ताकि मैं वो करूंगा तो इन्होंने मेरे को सेटलमेंट लेटर दिया अब मैं तो सर कम पढ़ा लिखा था लेकिन है ना इनका जो आदमी आया वो मुझे बार 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 इनका जो लेटर में वो मेरे को बता पढ़ा रहा था कि फेलिंग विच द ऑफर विल स्टैंड नल एंड वर्ल्ड ऐसे कर करके मेरे को सर वो पढ़ा रहा था मैंने कहा भैया देखो ये एनओसी नहीं है एनओसी नहीं है आप है ना मेरा है ना भैया नाम नहीं काटोगे तो बोलता है नहीं अग्रवाल साहब आपको कोई दिक्कत नहीं आएगी फिर सर अब मैंने है ना सर अभी दो तीन महीने पहले सर बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा में होम लोन के लिए अप्लाई करा तो वो बोलते हैं की जी आपका सिविल में नाम है और आपको तो जी हम लोन नहीं दे सकते हैं आपने क्रेडिट कार्ड यूज करा था मैंने कहा जी ये देखो जी मेरे पास तो इनका नो ऑब्जेक्शन सर्टिफिकेट है बोलते हैं ये तो सेटलमेंट हो रखा है जी और उन्होंने आपका सिविल में नाम नहीं हटाया फिर मैंने okay. बैंक में है ना फोन करा तो 20-20 बारी 25-25 बारी फोन करने के बाद में भी ये बोलते हैं कि है ना बारह हजार चार सौ नब्बे रूपए और दो इकसठ सौ साठ रूपए की टोटल परचेजिंग करी थी दस हजार रूपए पहले ही ले चुके हैं और अब कह रहे हैं बारह हजार और दो ओके पंकज वी डिड राइट टू एच डी एफ सी बैंक ऑन योर बिहाफ एंड दिस इज वॉट द बैंक वर्जन इज टू योर कम्प्लेट HDFC in its response said and I quote This is further to the recent communication received by us and subsequent conversation with a bank representative Ramya Sivaram regarding your HDFC bank credit card account we wish to confirm having responded to client's email dated 9th March 2011 and 19th March 2011 our response dated 14 March 11 and 22 March 11 respectively The same was sent to the email address recorded by us. We regret to note that the client is not in receipt of the same. Hence, we are here with appending the earlier responses dated 14 March 2011 and 22 March 2011 for your ready reference. We understand from the conversation with Sivaram that you had affected a check payment of 1290 rupees towards the discounted balance on your card account. Upon receipt of the check payment the proceeds will be credited to the card account on successful clearance we reaffirm that your card account stands invalidated from further usage and there would be no outstanding payable as on date subject to receipt of check payment post successful clearance accordingly the status would be updated in the shared database as per the laid down guidelines we seek your understanding and cooperation in this regard Please feel free to write to us at priorityredressal.creditcards@hdfcbank.com or contact Ramya Sivaram for any further assistance clarification in this regard. End of quote. All right, let's go across to Mudit Patni now. He too has a similar credit score related complaint this time against Citibank. Mudit Mudit, what's happened? All right, uh, hi Vivek. Uh, hi. Now this is regarding the Citibank credit card which I had in uh, with me in 2005. Uh, used it till 2008. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was some, you know, I was traveling between 2006, 2007, and used to regularly from 2005 to 2006 the regular payments used to happen from my end. Uh, but from 2006 uh, to 2008 onwards, between 2006 to 2008. 
there was, uh, you know, I used to pay regular, the minimum amount because I was traveling and I told my one of my friends to pay all this payment. So when I came back to India, I was told that a principal amount of 10, uh, 50,000 uh, is due uh, with an interest of 10K. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I told them to, you know, how about uh, removing the 10K interest because I've been regularly paying for which they agreed if I could pay uh, 50,000 at one shot, which I did. And, uh, you know, they had to, uh, they canceled my card, which was fine with me because I uh, was not, you know, I'm not paying the interest amount. But that came to my surprise that, uh, you know, uh, in a typical banking or financial term, it's known as settled. Mm-hmm. And this settled goes to Sybil as a, uh, as a culprit or as a, you know, uh, your intention to not pay is bad. Okay. Uh, obviously, they know about this whole story. And now, because of this reason, uh, you know, I'm not holding any credit card. I'm not able to apply loans. Uh, I went back to Citibank saying, you know, why don't you take this, uh, take this 10K back? Uh, you know, I can, I'm ready to pay it, but at least get it removed. I have a clear history. When I got to know that my home loan got rejected because of this reason, uh, I went... I tried writing to Sybil. Sybil got back to me, uh, giving me a report. Went to Citibank office, head office. Nothing moved because they said, from our end, it is nil. Hmm. You know, if you see the Citibank uh, statement, uh, uh, the email to me, it states that the balance due has been reported as nil. Hmm. And there is no due from Mudit Patni to Citibank. Okay, Madit, uh, we did write to Citibank and uh, this is what the bank has said uh, in response to your complaint. Citibank in its response says, and I quote, Putney held two Citibank cards. Putney's card ending with 5,000 was not in good standing as the repayment pattern was irregular, wherein payments were typically less than the minimum amount due. Sometime around 2nd September 2008, Putney had approached Citibank and requested to settle the outstanding dues on his credit cards. At the time of settlement, there was a total outstanding of 92,814 rupees against Putney's card ending with 5,000. However, upon his said request and in view of his exceptional circumstances, Citibank has offered a one-time structured payment plan or settlement to Putney wherein he had to pay the bank an amount of 50,000 only and the same was formalised by a letter dated on 4th September 2008. As stated in our communication to him, we also updated Putney's card performance record with the payment he made toward the said settlement and the balance due was reported as nil in the database we are mandated to share with Sybil. To further clarify, the Sybil update for both cards is correct. The card ending with 5000 shows as post settled and card ending with 6009 as settled, both with current outstanding as zero. Should Putney wish to update his civil records with the Citibank cards he held to an improved status of null, he may do so by paying the balance outstanding as on 22nd August 2008 of 42,814 rupees by contacting Sushil Thoyat at our grievance redressal office. End of quote. Well, those were two problems among many that we receive when it comes to being branded as somebody who's a culprit, as Mudith mentioned, as somebody who's not paid the dues as regards credit scores. And this is an important aspect that we are all going to have to grapple with, that even if you have a 50 rupee pending due, which could go back five years, six years, if you have not settled it, if you've not got that NOC from your bank, uh, it could come back to haunt you many years down the line. So here's a brief on what you really should do in case you are stuck in a situation like this. What is the role of the bank? What is the role of Sybil? Who can you approach to get your name removed from this list so you can go back and get a fresh loan? Here's the story. A good credit score plays a crucial role in helping you avail a loan. Credit bureaus like Sybil depend on member banks for maintaining and updating their database. And based on this information, Sybil generates an individual's credit information report or CIR. So if you are stuck with a low credit score, you would have to involve your bank and the credit bureau to get the matter resolved. And to do so, you just have to follow this simple three-step method. The data provided by banks may sometimes be incomplete or incorrect. To verify your credit score, 
you can purchase your CIR from Sybil. Here you have two options. You may either make an online payment or you can even mail a demand draft of 142 rupees to Sybil. To make an online request, you just have to complete the CIR request form and make a credit or debit card payment. Along with this, you must also attach your ID and address proof. This has to be mailed to Sybil on the address mentioned on the website. The dispute form can be downloaded from Sybil's website. The control number and the date mentioned in the CIR must be highlighted along with the disputed and correct information. You must send this to Sybil on the addresses mentioned. Once you identify the disputed transaction, you must submit documentary proof of the correct status to your bank. The bank will provide the updated data to Sybil. But do remember that lenders provide information to Sybil on a monthly basis. And if for example, you have accessed the CIR within 45 days of clearing your dues, it may not reflect in this report. But if a bank still does not rectify errors, you can approach Banking Ombudsman to resolve the issue. Okay, we take a short break, but if you too have a complaint, do feel free to drop us an email or even call us. The number is coming up on your screen. Stay tuned because we will solve many more of your problems when we return. Keep watching Fight Back for Your Rights. If you have a grievance, you too can register your complaint. Just call us on 022-4098-7444 or you can email us at fightback at utvmoney.com. You can follow us on Twitter at BUTV Fight Back.